Hello again, Izzy at Digital Goja. Look at what I have in my hands. It's a FLD filter. That's why it has that pinkish cast. This filter was very popular back in my era where we had to use film. Remember that? If this video helps you, hit me up with a like button underneath. And remember to subscribe to the channel for future tutorials, frequently asked questions, and unboxings. And don't forget, if you're ever in Miami, which most of you sometimes are, come say hello at Digital Goja. Now we're gonna take a closer look at these three filters. Remember, this is the FLD filter. This is the one that comes that people are asking questions about. This of course is your standard UV, this is your protective filter, and here is your circular polarizer. Take these guys out of the picture. This is the one we wanna talk about now. This is the FLD filter. This filter was incredibly popular back in the days of film. You had to buy a roll of film. It was 90% of the time daylight balance. So when you work with fluorescent lighting, guess what? You ended up having a really strange color cast. So this filter, the FLD, compensated for that. But now in the world of digital, most of our cameras have an incredibly accurate white balance system, where that way, if you are working in fluorescent lighting, the camera will compensate for you. As a matter of fact, even if you force the camera to be in daylight balance and then you put this filter on, it's just not gonna give you the proper cast. You could use it for a special effect because it does give you this rosy pink effect. And it would work interesting for a little bit more contrast if you're doing black and white. But now I'm gonna show you what happens when we place it onto a very popular lens that will work with this 67 millimeter diameter thread. Now let's take a closer look at this filter in action. I'm going to install it into a very popular lens, the Canon 18 to 135. This is a 67 millimeter diameter thread. Of course, that is the most important factor when you purchase your filters, you make sure that you have the correct diameter thread for your particular lens. So, notice how easily this installs. This is a metal frame and it's nice and slim design. So you don't have to over tighten it. Basically thread it on until it just doesn't pull off. So that means it's ready. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you some imaging done with this filter in place. So you can see the difference of the factor with the filter and without the filter. Now, notice this pretty in pink color that it casts. And this is what's happening when you put this FLD filter on there. You're going to get that pinkish cast. So it's a great special effect, but it's not what you're going for, I would imagine. And notice what happens when I take off the filter. See, that's normal exposure. So notice how that is the correct white balance, but it's not giving you that pink effect. So there you have it. Honestly, if you want to create that pink effect, then you use the FLD filter. But to compensate for the tungsten lighting or fluorescent lighting, which is what this is meant for, for fluorescent lighting, you do not want to use this filter. Your white balance in your digital camera will suffice perfectly. I hope this video of the FLD filter helped you out. This is my Pink Panther slash Barney filter. If it did, as always, hit me up with the like button underneath and remember to subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting.